Hey, what is up, everybody? This is a great Puckettini. What I got for you today is I'm going to do a player breakdown <clears throat> on the young man, a defensive end we just signed. He's right down here at the bottom of my screen. Uh, if Hopefully you can see it there, but uh, great. Uh, this guy is very highly ranked. He's going to be in the class of 2026, I believe. So he won't be here next year, but the year after that, I believe. Um, I could be wrong on that on some of these dates, but anyway, um, his name here, as you can see it at the bottom, I'm trying to get my computer, trying to see me a little bit, my ugly mug, but anyway, uh, his name is Colton Yarborough, Yarborough, and, uh, this young man is very highly rated, uh, Deke Adams, you know, who I've told y'all before in some other videos that I, I hold Deke Adams in very high regards, he's a great, wonderful coach, I worked with him when he was at Washita Baptist University, I was a uh, assistant uh, head coach at the time at the varsity level. I was the head junior high coach, though, and uh, it was great working with him. I worked with the defensive line at that time with him, and, man, he was a great coach. Kids loved him. He was he, he pushed them, made them be better, but they liked him. He's very personable, just a great guy. He's a great recruiter, too. You can see he's recruited some very good players. You look at his defensive ends here. He's got already three for sure. You know, uh, Nico Davier, Anton J. I'm not going to try to butcher his name. And then Landon Jackson's right here where I'm from in Texas, Canada, Texas here. Uh, went to Pleasant Grove High School. Uh, and then he's recruited two already. Uh, I, I can't remember their years. I think they'll be here next year, and I could be wrong, but I think that's right. I get confused on these years, man, with all this COVID stuff. Holy moly, I can't keep up with it. But Caleb Bell and Reginald Vaughn, both are uh, – and these guys are NFL prototype size and speed, and plus these other four they threw up here. But they also look like uh, – Henderson needs to gain a little weight there, about 20 pounds. And I don't know, they're 40 times. I couldn't find them. So if anybody watches the video and knows, or if you guys watch it and know you're 40 times, tell me, man, and I'd love to update it. Charlie Collins, who I you know, heard Deke Adams talk about him today. This is August 7th when I'm doing this. And uh, Deke met with the media today. Coach Adams did, and he mentioned Charlie Collins and talked about how he's working real hard. He's a freshman. Uh, so he's probably prototype size and speed. He's right at it if I just had his 40 time. Um you know, Whitney's gained a little weight. Here, Hollinsworth has got the size. Hill's got the size. Quincy Rose Jr., he talked about him today. Uh, he's got the size. He's don't know his speed. Uh, Caleb James has size. So that he's, you see he's recruiting guys that have NFL size. And that's what we need if we're going to beat these teams in the SEC. And, and like I said, Deke is an absolutely wonderful coach. We're so glad and lucky to have him. Um uh, really like him a lot. He's a very good recruiter and a great guy. And uh, Coach Pitt was done a great job with his coaching staff for sure. But anyway, let's get back to Colton Yarborough here. He is six foot five, so he's got the he's already uh, taller already. He weighs only two hundred twenty pounds. You know, he's gained some weight, and he will. He's a very good athlete. I'm gonna tell you though, he he's a little bit uh, hasn't fully developed yet. He'll put on weight as he gets older. The film I have on him is just when he was a sophomore. And, man, I look back at some of the players I had, the growth they made from sophomore year to senior, holy moly. I mean, it was like different people. So he will greatly transform and get even better. And he's a lucky guy getting to play for Deke Adams, I'm telling you. If Colton sees his roommate knows him, man, you're lucky to get to play for Coach Adams. He's an absolutely wonderful coach and great guy. But if you look at his 40 time, he runs a 4.53. Prototype size for an NFL rushing in is what I'm looking at. It's 6'4", 266, and they run a 4'7", okay? Now, so you see Colton here is 6'5", so he's got the size, the height. He's 220 pounds. He's gained some weight, quite a bit of weight. But if you watch him play, man, He's you can see he's going to be a great one. He's going to be really good. He's got all the tools. Just got to work and get there. Uh, he, he runs a 4'5", 340. I mean, holy moly, he can run. And that's clearly pro NFL speed. And now let's look at his rankings. He's ranked as a four star and has a 90 rating out of 100. I mean, this I think he's the highest rated guy I've seen that they've signed or have committed. Uh, now they had the linebacker uh, that they got that was supposed to be number one linebacker and all this. I don't think he was rated as high as 90. I'd have to go back and look. But anyway. And uh, Colton is rated as the number one recruit in his class out of Oklahoma. So that's really big, too. You know, Coach Pittman talks about his being a regional 
recruiting university. We got to recruit, you know, five hours away from Fayetteville, and everybody. That's the our core group of. That's a our um, core recruiting base, and Colton is right in there. You know, being in Oklahoma, so great, great guy here. Great commit for Coach Adams, and I, I expect nothing less of him. That guy, I think so much of Coach Adams. And when I heard, I think he left South Carolina to come back to Arkansas about a couple years ago. I was so happy because I think so much of him, and he's just uh, and he's going to recruit very good players, uh, man. And he did a great job. It, uh, in the media today, he was, and people were were uh, replying that he, he was very good at doing that. He was the best so far. He's very good, and we're lucky to have him. He picked up a good one here in Colton Yarborough. So let's look at Colton's tape here. Let me see if I can get it queued up here. Let's see. Can I get this big screen? Why is it not showing me? Oh, here it is, right here. And this is a huddle film. And uh, now a lot of his tape here shows him as a tight end. Uh, but now Arkansas, D, Coach Adams recruited him, and he's going to play defensive end. But you see here he's going to be a heck of a tight end too. He is right here. He's number 11. And they'll show, point to him and all this here in a minute. But that's him right there. And uh, he's the tight end here. And he's a very good blocker as well. Um, so here we go. About to sneeze. Woo. Excuse me. Hmm. But anyway, let's let's check his film out here. Boy, I sneeze. But anyway, hopefully I'll go away. Let's see if I can get my controls working here. Yep, hang on. Messed it up. Okay, here we go. Now, so here he is. See the arrow above his head? He's going to down block, I believe. I think I just saw it. And boom, blocks the linebacker. Watch him. You know, and look at his arms. Man, he's got a really good wingspan. And, uh, you know, showing he's aggressive. He's just... Boy, only weighs 220 pounds. I mean, that guy is skinny, but you can see he's already strong in his upper body. He's able to just throw that guy around. Now he's right here on the right side at the end here. I believe that's him. Yeah, that's him. And watch him just take his guy. He's going to drive him all the way. You know, not a real devastating block, but, you know, good enough where he's getting him down the field and he's driving him. I mean, drove him five yards down the field. And pushed him out of bounds. So great play right there. Now he's on defense. That's where we get to look kind of what he does on defense. And here he is right here. And they have four man front. They have a defense man. He's probably about a seven tech or a go seven or five. You know, outside shoulder of the tackle here is what it looks like. Hard to tell from this angle. But anyway, and this is what he'll do at Arkansas. He'll be that four uh that forefront defensive end. And uh, this kind of gives us a look as to what he'll how he'll play at Arkansas. All right, got a little bit outside there because they're trying to trap him. This guy, they're hoping he runs way upfield, you know, and he does a pretty good job. He takes on that guard. I like to see him be a little bit on the inside, but he does a good job. He hops back and grabs him. And see, that's where his long arms are so good because right here, he's going to have to reach around this big guy and make that tackle. And he's able to get off of him. So he makes a great play here, even though he's a little bit on that outside. We like him to be kind of on this side. But anyway, his long arms that he has here is able he's able to reach around and make this tackle. So great play right there. Boom. Uh good job of getting the guy down. Good play. All right. Now he's now they have him back and he's at like an outside linebacker. You know, because remember this guy runs a four five three. A lot of times he's probably the fastest guy on the field in high school, you know. So uh they try to claim off the line some too um in college. He's probably got outside contained, but watch that does a good job. Remember, sophomore here now. This guy kind of got out there and got after him a little bit, hit him a little bit, but he's watching the ball, and he's able to jump inside here and make the tackle. You know, that's a good read. He could have just come on out here, because I bet he's got outside contained. He just kind of stood out here and watched this guy run down the field. But he does a good job of getting off that block, getting in there and making a tackle. That's a good play, a good instinctive play. Okay, good job right there. That's a good play. So he's instinctive. Here he is again. He stand up out here. He's like a, a scar tackle. He, he's a stack backer, really. Um, outside backer. Probably has outside contain. He's blitzing here. Don't get there. But see, he's got a good motor. He don't get in there and quit. And just stop on the play. He don't get it, and he continues to chase. You know, go get him. Go get him. And at 453, I guarantee you he got him down. I mean, he can run. That's legitimate speed. All right, here he is here. All right, 
pretty good. Some pressure on the quarterback there. Kind of wants to do a little swim move. A little bit of one. Nah, I don't know. Uh, but anyway, he got pressure there. Good job there. Let's see where he's at. Okay, he's outside backer here. Good job. And watch how he plays this uh, guy trying to block him here. He does a good job of keeping him on the side because you don't want to give up your whole body. You kind of want to let him, get, don't give him your whole body. They can kind of get sticky and hold you. You want to keep him on that side and keep your hat where you are. And I'm thinking he's got outside contain here. He don't need to let anybody outside of him. So he does a good job of keeping the blocker on his inside and play, keeping his outside leverage. He does a good job here of doing that. Boom, and good job of getting him down. Now, once again, he's got that long wingspan, man, and he can just reach out and grab him, and uh, great job. I mean, if that sucker gets up to, he'll be like another Landon Jackson, you know, 6'5", 260, get a read on Jackson's 270, boy, he'll be a beast. Pretty good right now. All right, here he is back at tight end. Good physical block right there. Running back just ran way inside there. But, I mean, watch, here he is. He's got him blocked. He's got his head down. He's going to drive him in here and uh, run him back. That's what happened. Why did he run in there? Well, somebody outside got some pressure. He had to. He had to cut it up in there. But, anyway, good block here by Colton. Uh, running back just had to cut it way inside. Somebody didn't get a block there. All right, where's he at? Okay, there he is down. You see him here. Right there, you know, you see kind of Ed Too Tall Jones. I was watching some Cowboys tape today of back in 1976. No Ed Too Tall Jones out there. It kind of looks like him right here. Uh, big long arm gets up in there. And that's hard for a quarterback, you know. He's got to change his arm uh, the way he's throwing it. He's got to change his level there and try, almost try to sidearm it, try to get it by him. So great job there. Getting good pressure. Good job. All right, now he's right here in front of us. He's going to be a stand-up backer. And he's telling them, you know, this man is a sophomore, and he's telling his teammates something, what they need to do or pointing out a formation or something. So you see he's smart. He's got that FBI, that football uh, intelligence, football intelligence, FBI. All right, good job there. Stayed at home. So it took him so long to run this play back there. He just kind of got in a lot of traffic. But he stayed at home. He didn't get inside too far. You know, sometimes guys want to be uh, be the star, and they'll run in here and try to make a tackle. But he stayed at home, and the ball came to him, and then he made the play. He did his job. See, he's standing at home, standing at home, and there he is. There's the ball. Good job right there. All right, now he's back in there tight end. Yeah, good block right there. You know, he's just he's showing he's aggressive. Firing off right there and takes the guy down. The guy kind of trips over somebody, but he pushes him down. All right, here he is right here in front of us. Left tight end. Good block. Now, he understands turn your butt to the hole. You know, that's what you teach your lineman if you're doing a down block. Your butt should be facing the hole. And he does a really – so he understands leverage and stuff, I can tell, by watching him. And that's very important. You know, he just wears that guy out. So you see, showing he knows how to use his height, his leverage. Uh, he's, he's very instinctive. I think he's on the top. No, he's right here, down here by us. Let's see. He didn't get a whole lot of pressure. They kind of double him right here. Looks like. Yeah. You know, and... You know, he's fighting. He's working hard in there. You know, they kind of had two guys on him there. All right, here's at linebacker, reading the quarterback. I don't know what we got there. Didn't do a whole lot, but you see him. He's kind of in coverage, reading the quarterback. You see how he moves really well. You know, imagine putting, twenty, you know, 30 pounds on this guy. And having him chasing these SEC quarterbacks, I mean, heck, 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 that's what you want. You want these really good athletes that can move like that, and uh, that's what you need, speed in the, in the SEC. All right, here is it left tight end right here. 
Blocks that linebacker. Good block right there. Stayed with him. So you see he's aggressive. He's not scared to hit. Not scared to get in there and mix it up. Get tough. Good little block right here. Good job. Gets his man on the ground. Pretty much a pancake right there. Good job. It's so like I said, he's got a lot of tight end video in here. A lot of, a lot of him playing tight end. Where was he at right there? I missed him. I think he's up top. He's right tight end. Caving that guy down. Yeah. Good block. He's still blocking him right there. Um, let's go. Well, I can't go back to that play now. I messed that up. Boy, I can't. I guess that's it right there. But you can see him right here, and he just caves that guy in down there. And that's the end of his video. Didn't have a whole lot on his video here. Um... Well, I want to see you, dude. What is this? This is when he's rushing. Let's see what this is right here. Um, maybe this might be the same we just saw. We'll check it out here. See if it's any different. Here he comes right here. Here he's rushing. Oh, no, this is new. Yeah, gets quarterback out of the pocket. Uh, ah, come on now. Shoot. Okay, that was just one rush. Let's watch it again. You know, and you see a little bit of his speed right here. He just runs past quarterback right there. Just kind of break down. Don't run past him. But he's, you see his speed and his quickness right there. Runs him right into his teammates. So, you know, good play there. So, you see he's very athletic. Um, let's see what this is. I think we've seen this a little bit. Let me make it big. Here's a tight end. Coming out and being that linebacker. Pretty good block right there. Here is up top. Yes, yeah, the last play we had there. Yeah, just blocking down on that guy. And see, he don't stop. Man, he plays all the way to the whistle. I think they're just going to keep showing some of the same stuff there. But all right, you see there, he's in Durant, Oklahoma. Not very far away, you know, Durant is not. Uh, but anyway, you see there, you see some of his athletic ability. And, and just imagine two more years in high school getting bigger, faster, stronger. I mean, this guy's going to be an absolute beast. He, he's really good right now. Uh, I would take him on the team right now uh, with what he shows. But he's got prototype uh, height, you know, six foot five. He's got the speed, of course. At his speed, he can play anywhere, you know, based on his speed. Um, so he's very versatile. You know, you see him play a lot of linebacker, defensive end. He's got some raw talent in there. You didn't see a lot of – well, he didn't see a lot of him uh, rushing the passer much in that. But, you know, with Coach Adams working with him and pushing him, making him better, he's just going to get better and better. But like I said, I think this is the highest-ranked guy we've recruited that I've seen, being a 90 out of 100 and a four-star and he is the number one recruit in Oklahoma out of in the year of 2026 of his year's graduating. So that's really big, really huge, R great player. Um, see how he does this year, and next year. He still got two years of high school, and uh, so this dude's going to be really good. Colton, uh, really good player, great pickup by Coach Adams. I think they said Coach Adams offered him back in May, and I think he just kind of committed. He's here within the last week, so uh, really lucky to get him. And uh, hopefully he sticks to his commitment. We need him, and he can come in and play well for Arkansas. And uh, really, that's all I got, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Uh, I've got a lot of other videos breaking down film. Hope you like this. Give me a thumbs up and uh, check them out. I'm trying to get the guys that are committing, and uh, and just so you see kind of what we got coming, and see that Coach Pittman is doing a great job, and Coach Adams, you see here, he's already got two really good ones, now he's got three, um, I mean, he's doing a great, they're doing great, they're doing a good job, now we gotta go put it on the field and play, so thanks a lot, that's all I got for tonight, last thing is, go Hogs!